We are on alert tonight for some gusty thunderstorms, especially peaking after midnight going through the overnight hours. I'm tracking a cold front and that's what's going to spark this activity. Looks like the strongest cells could contain damaging winds gusting 50 to 60 miles per hour. Flooding also a threat just because storms could actually train or repeat in the same place. Now our severe weather outlook is a level one out of one to five, basically from the Stevenson all the way up through southern, southern Wisconsin. It's up here where we have a higher risk for a severe weather in north central Wisconsin. So severe winds, yes, that is a possibility for us with these storms as they move through. We have a lot of heat energy building ahead of this cold front. Made it to 84 today and we are at 81. And wow, is it windy out there? Winds are gusting now to 24 miles per hour in Morris, 23 in Ottawa, 32 mile per hour winds in McHenry and winds to 35 now in Waukegan. That's carrying the temperature into the 80s. We have 85 degrees degrees in Kankakee. Rain cooled air though in Ottawa where it's 71. Storms now starting to fire here very much along I-80 just north of Ottawa. These are moving through Mendota now closing in on Earl as well. LaSalle you have a downpour. I am noticing though some of these are showing some signs of weakening even though there is some lightning attached to it. When I looked at them about 15 minutes ago they were a little more impressive but still they could contain some gusty winds as they move to the north and east through Northville and and that rain holding together for DeKalb here in the short term. But the actual front itself is going to be moving through in the early morning hours. That's why our rain chance really ramps up after midnight, especially around 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. That's when we're going to see this front line up and move through. So between now and 10 o'clock, sure, isolated gusty storms are certainly possible. But then throughout the overnight, we see this line come together and really focus on areas south of I-80 through the 4 a.m. hour. And then it's all out of here by 8 in the morning with some clearing in the afternoon. So as we step through sunset, yes, isolated thunderstorms, heavier downpours through 10 o'clock. Here's 2 a.m. We could see that line of heavier rain moving in 4 a.m. as well, hugging the rim of the lake with temperatures in the upper 60s at that time. But by 7 a.m., it's leftover rain in northwest Indiana starting to dry out on the Illinois side. And in fact, later in the day, mostly sunny skies after such a windy and wet start to the day. So our precip chances come back for Thursday. That is when we will see that big transition. Look at Friday's high now, 53 degrees. The good news is as we reach into your holiday weekend, temperatures do rebound into the 70s for Sunday and Memorial Day right now is looking like 75 degrees. So we have to watch for those gusty storms tonight. And again, really picking up after midnight. Yes, all right. Thank you, Mary Kate. We'll be right back.